What's going on guys? My name is Matter. I'm Sports Talk. Welcome back to another Black Ops 3 Zombie video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Skull Crusher and or Wind Bow in Der Eisendrock. So first you can see here you need to go and shoot the wall up top there so you can drop down the pieces for the bow. This is the purple bow that people will look at. It's hard to determine what exactly you want to call it. But either way, you need to go and pick up the purple bow pieces to start this upgrade. Those are right next to the double tap machine, as you can see right here. I just picked them up, and that's how you begin this upgrade step. The first step here, once you do that, is you're going to have this purple block spawn over in the tower here by the mystery box out in this, uh, this valley here, this open area. And you can see right here that purple block. What you need to do is melee a zombie while standing on the purple block or melee a zombie near it, and the block will blow up like that. Then you want to go up to the block and click square to elevate the vase. This vase is going to start talking to you. He's going to have a deep voice. And for this particular bow, you need to listen very carefully to what he says. So make sure you have your volume up for this bow. Now you can see right here, the vase actually elevates into the sky. And that's when you know you've completed the first step of the wind or skull crusher bow upgrade. Now the next step of this upgrade involves getting a bunch of different skulls, keeper skulls in fact, that are located around the map. The first one, as you're going to see right here, is located by Mule Kick. It's wedged right in here behind this rock, and all you need to do is go up and press square, and it will disappear as so. Once you've done that, you can go over to the next one, which is in Samantha's room, in this box right here. Again, these are Keeper Skulls. Press square, and it will disappear into a purple mist, just like the first one did. The third one is located over here, right by the double tap where we just were and picked up our sword pieces, or our bow pieces, excuse me. And you can click that one the same way as you did the last two, it will disappear. The fourth one is located up here on the second floor uh, in this area by the uh, the buildings where we just were before by the, the purple stone. It's in the windowsill right here and again press square and it will disappear. Make sure you don't die though because the zombie will kill you. And you can see right here once you've done those three pieces successfully or when you do any of the pieces, the little skulls we just picked up will start to float around the vase that we just elevated in the ritual room. The next one is over here in the teleporter room in this sink. Again go and press square on it and it will disappear. That's your fifth one. And the final one is located out in the rocket area. It's in the back of this truck over here. So you're going to have to either teleport or fling yourself over the rocket area when the rocket's not launching, of course, so you'll die. Over here in this truck on the left side is going to be the last skull that you need to go and press. And once you do that one, all those skulls will be teleported to our ritual area. Now this step is a little bit confusing. Once all those skulls are floating there, you need to get crawlers. Now I didn't have the mega gobble gum that makes crawlers, so I had a really hard time doing this. I had to use a lot of grenades. But basically what happens is every crawler that walks into that room is going to be attacked by a skull. So you need a total of six of them. You can see right here, I still have two skulls floating, which means I've gotten four crawlers ready, and I need two more crawlers to complete this step. So, once I got those uh, crawlers here, not easily I might add, you might want to have the Mega Gobble Gum Ball that makes them a bunch of crawlers because this is difficult to do otherwise. The last soul will float up and you will hear this. Now it's very important that you listen to what he says because those are going to be the symbols you need to go and find in the next step. Now if you forget what he says or you couldn't hear him very well, you can go and shoot the vase as you're going to see I do here in a second, and he will repeat those things. Now the next step here takes a little bit of time, it probably takes a round or two at least. Basically what you have to do is go and kill zombies around the map, and what they're going to do is drop these purple symbols. As you see right there, I just went over and picked it up. Once you kill certain ones, they're going to pick, they're going to drop these symbols. You need to gather all six of those symbols to fill those symbols that we have in the ritual space. Now again, this is going to take a little bit of time, and it doesn't matter whether you kill them with a regular gun or your bow, but you need to get all six symbols before you can move to the next step and pick the symbols that the guy has told you to from the different knights. So you can see right here, we have three of the six symbols filled in those circles. There's three I still need to get, and it's already been around. So I have to keep on pursuing uh, killing zombies, and every once in a while, one will drop them, and you go over and pick it up. Once you get all six of these guys, we can move on to the next step, but I want to show you all of those symbols here that I got just to make sure you guys know what you're looking for when you play. So there's the last one, and now we can complete the next step. You can see all six of them are here in the circles, and we're going to go over and pick the ones that we correspond with the knights after what he told us. Heart. Griffin. Stag. So that's a little tip if you guys can't hear it the first time. Make sure you shoot it with your bow, and he'll repeat them again. Now I need to come over to this area that has a bunch of knights. Those knights are going to have little platforms below them that have these symbols. There's going to be the stag, the heart, the door, the, I guess, cornucopia, I guess you would call it. I'm not even sure what that one is. Uh, that is a stag right there. And once you go and press square on those, you're going to be able to see what each of those symbols are. 
Now before we can do those though, we have to start another round and kill a bunch of zombies. Those zombies are going to drop these symbols, so once we collect all six symbols, they will fill into the spots in the holes down here. As you can see, each circle now has a different symbol in it, and now we know we can go over and figure out which symbols are our corresponding symbols for each ritual. It changes every single time, so the symbols will be different every single time you do this, which is why it's important you remember to what he says. So after going over to the knight and finding the symbols for the heart, the griffin, and then the stag, we have those here. The triangles, what looks like an ultra symbol to me, and then three little balls. Once you get those correctly, this will happen. You're almost done this upgrade, now you have to wait until it's done forging the new enhanced bow for yourself. Then you can pick it up and bring it down to the pyramid ritual room where all the other bows are located. This is the reforged arrow for the skull crusher or wind one. You can see our full circle has been completed. All four steps of the upgrade process are completed. We can bring it down here and place it in the correct box. And now we need to just collect souls to power it up and we can get the enhanced bow, which I don't even know the name of, but I'll, I'm gonna call it the skull crusher slash wind bow for now, or the purple bow. You can see right here, we're gonna go and just do that. And once we're done getting all those souls collected, we're gonna get to see some awesome gameplay. This is probably one of my favorite staffs so far. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it does a lot of cool damage and it's really, really awesome to use, a lot of fun. So let that gameplay play out for you guys. If you enjoyed the video though, please smack the like button. If we can get to 3,000 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. And make sure you guys subscribe here if you're new. Leave a comment what your favorite bow is so far, what your favorite upgraded bow is, and we'll see you guys all next time. Peace. Let's see if you honored our agreement. A fool and his life are soon parted. Nor should it. Double points! I would do it for free. All of it! Do you actually believe you can simply surround the doctor? This is coming for you! Once again! Consume their flesh! Leave nothing behind! I may be surrounded, but that alone will not be enough to defeat me! Finally! They get to know how it feels to be consumed! I know my future. You barely feature. Not ammo. The blood sacrifices will now Fire resume. Fail. Fly with the hawks you begin when you subscribe.